The Calgary Stampeders are three-point favorites on Sunday night against the Toronto Argonauts, where they'll look to get back on track following a disastrous performance in Ottawa, during which Jake Mayer was pulled in favor of Logan Bonner. The Argonauts had their own quarterback problems last week as Cameron Dukes and Nick Arbuckle struggled to move the ball against Winnipeg, though the club eked out a win on the strength of a pick six from Tavares McFadden. JC, who do you have in this one, the Argos or the Stamps? Well, can I make a bold suggestion, Hodge, to both of these teams? Can we make a gentleman's agreement? Just play without quarterbacks. Nobody here wants to see Jake Mayer. Nobody wants to see Nick Arbuckle. Let's just play Wildcat the entire game. Save the fans the misery of having to watch that QB battle. But if they're going to have quarterbacks on the field, you're going to have to protect them. And frankly, Calgary's offensive line proved last week they're not very good at doing that. And they've got some dude named Jake Ceresda on the other side this week. And as you know very well, watching the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, Hodge, Jake Ceresna, he's pretty unblockable up front from the interior. I think he's going to get home early and often in this football game. I don't think the Calgary Stampeders are going to be able to overcome that, and I think the Toronto Argonauts will secure a victory and cover this three-point spread, although not by a whole lot. I'm in the same boat with you, JC. I do not trust the Calgary Stampeders. I do think they're going to bounce back to some extent from their brutal loss in the nation's capital this past week. That being said, I don't trust them to score points. Defensively, they are still ranked more towards the bottom of the league than the top. And I mean, the Argonauts are not getting good enough quarterbacking right now from Nick Arbuckle or from Cameron Dukes. That being said, they have been mistake-free. And when you don't turn the football over, you set yourself up for a lot of success to take advantage of other teams' mistakes, as evidenced by the litany of mistakes that the Argos took advantage of this past week against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. So for that reason, I will take the Toronto Argonauts to win. I don't think this is going to be a pretty game. I don't think this is going to be one of those high-flying open CFL games where you go, wow, the entertainment value of this league is off the charts. I think this is going to be a, a slow, ugly, slugfest. They'll be running the ball. Kadeem Carey, by the way, cannot wait to see him play his former team. I think he is going to be a man on a mission. I mean, he's a physical runner at the best of times. I think he's going to bring even more power to that punch against his old club. So I will take the Argos to win, but I am going to, uh, pardon me, I will take the Toronto Argonauts to win and cover this spread here. We hope you enjoy week nine in the Canadian Football League. As always, stay tuned to Three Down Nation for all the latest news and analysis from across the country. We'll see you next week with our picks for week 10.